Uh, welcome to the part four of the drafting view tutorial. All right. Uh, let's get back at it, and hopefully we can finish it out on this one. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, we've just created the family instance, right? And now we need to. So that's gonna go up here, and this guy's gonna go right here. Okay, and then create viewport. So looks like one run. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so create viewport, right? So viewport. Um, new viewport. Is equal to viewport dot. Create and it's going to be doc comma view sheet dot id comma view drafting dot id comma new xyz location dot view comma location dot v comma zero. Alright. And then what we just did right there, okay, we, yeah, we just placed a viewport on the sheet. Right. Okay. And we can close it. Okay, and then we need to create a null checker. Uh, so in writing so now I kept on so I had this right, ran the button and then you know I was trying to place my view on a sheet and then kept getting errors back, errors back, spent like I don't know, an embarrassing amount of time on it, trying to figure out what the hell's going on, and the reason was because you can't place an empty view on a sheet. So, now, and because of that, every time I create a viewport, I'm going to check if it's empty first. Alright, so, uh, that's where this part comes in. So it's going to be if uh, new viewport is not null, then do this, right, and all this stuff's going to be placed in here. And we have to also commit in there too. Yes. All right. And he goes in. Okay. Uh, and then we'll create an else here later on. Okay. And then we'll catch it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Let's try. Okay. So, set viewport settings, right? So it's gonna be um, new viewport. New, ugh, sorry. So to set it, right, um, first we're gonna set the scale on it. So uh, with that, it's gonna be view drafting dot scale is equal to eight. And then I believe this brings it in a uh, half inch equals a foot, or one and a half inch equals a foot. We'll find out when we make it, all right? And then we're gonna do the viewport label, right? And so that's gonna be um, full new viewport type parameter show label and obviously your name doesn't need to be as long as mine but I just like being explicit when I do things or especially you know, like when I'm showing them to other people so doc doc get element and new viewport dot get type ID dot get parameter and then it's going to be uh, built-in parameter dot we're going to grab the viewport uh, show label mm, where is it? New viewport ATTR show label there it is okay cool and then we're going to dot set is equal to one okay all right and close that off all right and then we're going to load the view, load the view title family, all right. And so that's going to be uh, if pull view titles dot count is equal to zero, then do this, all right. And it's going to be 
load view title, load view title is equal to new load view title. Okay, and then load view title dot load view title again, calling the function. Oops. There it is. Uh, command data. Okay, cool, great. And then we're gonna set the view title, right? Uh, same thing as before, right? So, boy. Probably don't need the bull, but we probably just do getting away with this. Let's try and see what happens. Uh, so, we're going to do doc doc get element. And it's going to be new viewport dot get type ID again. And then dot get parameter. Built in parameter dot. And this is going to be the uh, viewport underscore ATTR label tag. Yep, great. And then this one we're going to set to and we're going to set it to a call view titles dot first element ID. All right. And close it off at the end. Great. Okay. Uh, almost done. All right. And then we're going to do a, a drafting view. And we're just going to see we do a for each for it, for all the active views. So for each uh, UI view. UV and UI views, and we're just going to zoom. So we need uh, UV dot zoom to fit. Okay, uh, and then if that doesn't work, uh, we are going to so we got to commit it. Yep, and then we're going to do it else, and it's going to be a uh, show an error if something doesn't work in there. Like for example, if our uh, viewport comes out null or empty, All right? So it's gonna be uh, task dialog dot show, and it says error for the title string. All right, and it's gonna be error, and over here we're gonna say uh, view appears empty. Please check if view is empty before placement. Okay, and close that off. And then if that doesn't work, then we're going to do a transaction.rollback, which is t. Dot. <laughs> okay, and then if something else breaks in there, we're going to do t.rollback anyways. All right. Uh, let's try it, and then we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Alright guys, so creating a project, right, we're testing out our button, right, nothing's loaded in, okay. Uh, and none of that, and then no sheets are loaded, no families, okay. And let's try it out. So my test tab, create drafting view tutorial button, and moment of truth. And it looks like it worked. Well, at least we got drafting views created, let's check it out. So, open our sheets. Unnamed and well, it looks like it kind of worked. Let's see. And then there should be two lines, and then if we move our view title down a bit, you see another line? Yes. So then if we go back to our code, we should see it's probably the view star end one and two, layout line one, line two. Yeah, so it looks like it's right. Here, this guy should be the one that's gonna have a um, different number in it. Yep, okay. So hit that, right? And if we go back over, so I think if we try to run it again, and then we also have a bolt in here too, right? Okay, and if we go in here and then we check the distance, so he's at two feet high, and if we check the length of him, whoops, 
Alright. Uh, okay, let's try my load again. Alright, guys, so I've corrected it. Uh, hopefully, the line should come out straight this time. Alright, no views loaded. No sheets in. Let's go for it. My test tab. And hit. And we go to our sheets. So, directing view came in. Check it out. And we're good. Great. Alright. So, it looks like everything came in. And then our view title line extends to the distance of the view, however long that is. Alright. And then the line's coming in at 10 feet long. Yep, 10 feet. Great. Cool. All right. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, on the next coming up, uh, I'm working on one that's going to lay out multiple views on a sheet. That one may take some time, though. Uh, so in the meanwhile, though, I have a I have a button I can show you that's going to be placing tags on walls. All right. You know, you just uh, lay out walls, and then you can tag the walls for the wall types, whether they're like A1, A1. A, B, 1, C, whatever, however you name your wall type thing is. Um, so there's that one. And then also, uh, let's see if I check out what else I have in the pipeline. Let's see. Uh, what else in the pipeline is, uh, uh, now we're going to start getting to w windows, walls, and doors, uh, placing you know windows and doors in walls. Uh, create roof, create ceiling, create stacked wall, create door families and side lights. Um, they're starting to get more complicated, right? So um, definitely stay tuned for those. It'll be pretty interesting to get into. One um, one thing that I want to create is a jump to referencing sheet. You know, like you ever get into a detail view, right? You have the if you're in, for example, like when you're in this view, right? Let's say you're referencing it uh, somewhere else uh, in the sheet. You know, and you want to jump to that one. Uh, callouts are a big one, you know, or elevation views. Sorry, perhaps maybe not directly, but uh, when you have callouts or elevations, right, and you want to jump back to the view that it's referencing, Revit doesn't have a button for that. Um, I think PyRevit does, but it only tells you what sheet it's on. It doesn't tell you what the actual referencing sheet is. Uh, so I want to make a button, you know, that'll easily jump you back to that one and zoom into that area because it gets so annoying. <laughs> um, also, another thing for you guys also uh, is whenever you guys lay out. Um, have your view titles. Um, I know some firms don't do this. Some firms are very particular about what they have on their sheets, right? Because their principals, you know, did the sheets like way back in the day, right? When they were like 20s or, you know, in the R age. I'm, I'm 30 now. God, who, who's counting anyways? But anyways, um, I always find it annoying, like, when you're in a sheet, right, and you're looking at it, especially on the computer, right, you're always zoomed in, right? So like the A101 that's popping up right here, right? Incredibly helpful, as opposed to only having the detail number, right? I can't tell you how many times I've had to, you know, like, I'm zooming here, okay, great, what sheet am I on? I have to zoom out, you know, and then I have to pan over and find the sheet number, great. I mean, okay, guys, I'm on, you know, detail one of, you know, sheet A101. You know, or I have to, like, look over here. I don't know, it's 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 stupid. Very small things. But <laughs> it's, like, one or two more steps than I won't have to do, right? I'd rather just be able to look at the, the view title and say, oh, okay, guys, yeah, hey, I'm on view... Uh, detail one of A101, all right, you know, so I can tell my subcontractor, contractor, structural guy, MEPs, doesn't matter, or even, you know, just my, um, my, uh, you know, my, my project manager, you know, where I am in the sheet to where, where to look, you know, so it helps me also looking on Bluebeam uh, and other sheets too, all right. Uh, anyways, so is that also, okay, so yeah, uh, for the code, right, we set our view scale to eight, uh, and it looks like uh, it did come up with, where is it? Yeah, right. So view scale to eight, right? And so that ended up setting our uh, view right here, right? So view scale, right? so scale eight, right? And that's so sorry, uh, one and a half inches is equal to one foot. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, also, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and also, you know, feel free to hop out if you want. Uh, I'll leave my uh, demo information at the end if anyone ever wants to contribute. All right, guys. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right.